Good afternoon, my little YouTube family. Um, what we have going on this Saturday morning is canning. So I've got my lids. I typically don't really, you don't really have to do this when you sterilize, but I always do because I just never know what's on them. But I've got these going in um, warm water. It's going to get pretty hot, but not boiling. And then I've had my jars in here boiling and I'm going to fill them with water, beef broth, and Lipton onion soup and beans. Now it's super important when you are going through your beans and I'm gonna can these differently guys. I'm not gonna cook these. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit later on why, but it's important that you spread your beans out on a baking sheet because there's little things like this that don't belong in there and there's rocks. I mean, you just have to really sift through them because you certainly don't wanna just pack these and there be a rock in there and you break a tooth because you didn't go through them. So go through and sort your beans, rinse them, and then they are ready. Okay, after you have them sorted and rinsed, you're going to want to put a half a cup of dry beans in. You can put a little bit more, let me put a little bit more, so I did about three quarters of a cup. And the reason why you don't want to completely fill this up with beans and liquid is over time, the beans are going to soak up the liquid. And if you don't have plenty of room for them to grow, <laughs> it will be mush. Okay, after I've got them all filled, I take my onion soup mix and I just pour some in there. I kind of keep shaking that bag up because that, that kind of brothy gravy stays at the bottom. So I just pour that in there. And about one pack will get you three pints. Okay, after I've got that done, then I take a little bit of water and I'm gonna fill it halfway up, just like that. I really don't need the little guide. And I'm gonna fill it up halfway with water, just like that. Okay, after I've got those halfway filled with water, then I'm gonna go on top of that with my beef broth. And I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way. Now, you need to make sure you leave some headspace. What I do is I typically, on my little funnel that I've got, I fill it to where I see the green begin. That's where my liquid will end. Maybe a little bit below because you're gonna need to have growth space too. All right, now that I've got them full to where I like them, this is a very important step that you do not want to miss, okay? Do not skip this step. Get you a little bowl of distilled white vinegar. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take it, I use a paper cloth, some people, um, use a towel, you take it and you're gonna wipe it around the rings because that makes sure there's nothing, no dirt, no oils, no nothing that will prevent it from sealing. So do not skip this step. All right, so now that all of my jars are cleaned with the vinegar, I take a lid and I just come over here and I down. And then I take the ring. It's hard to do this one-handed, y'all, especially with a, a magnet. <laughs> I come in and you do it finger tight. Now, what finger tight means is you tighten it as much as you can using just a couple of fingers, not your whole hand. So that's what finger tight means. Okay, so now they are ready to go in. Okay, now I'm doing this rogue today, okay? What I'm going to be doing is not FDA approved. You do whatever's right for your family. Um, you can pressure cook these, I think, for up to 90 minutes, about 90 minutes in a pressure cooker. I'm water bathing these. So I'm gonna water bath these for three hours. 
So I'm just gonna take my jars and put them back in my water bath canner. And I'm gonna let this go for three hours now. When you let this go for three hours, you need to keep a check on your water pressure because the condensation does deplete the water source. So just make sure you have plenty of water in there. I forgot to do is put a little bit of vinegar in the water because then you don't have the, the water stains but I just took these out and they have already popped I was hoping I could get it on um, video but I think they've all popped and sealed but you can see it's still boiling inside and see how the beans do um, that's why you only put about a half a cup in. Um, and I'm really the only one that beats these anyway. Um, and you wonder why, why are you, why are you canning beans? Well, I'm a prepper and I feel like things are going to get hard and supplies are going to get scarce. So I can keep dry beans on hand, I sure can. But what if I don't have the water I need, or what if I can't spare the water that I need to cook them? So I'm trying to prep everything that I can. That way, worst case scenario, and we're on a water ration, um, or I don't have the supplies to really cook, we have it ready. So, very cool. Welcome back, y'all. Have a peso tonight is homemade Big Mac night, okay? So let me tell you the prep work that I did before. It was just one little step. I soaked some minced onion in water. So we're gonna have them onions like McDonald's has. All right, so I am going to slice up. Okay, let me just tell you what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna make the sauce and the pickles first because the meat patties are going to be so thin, I really need to be able to pay attention to them, okay? So give me just a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut up some little, I'll put this back with you, pray for me, goodness. Cut up some little pickles. Now, I have a big jar of the bigger pickles. I just didn't want to open it up because once I open it, I'm going to have to can what we don't use. And I've been canning beans today and I just, I just don't feel like I'm doing that. So, we are going to just cut these little pickles up just like McDonald's. And I'm just going to cut a few of them up because I think maybe me and my husband are the only ones that eat pickles and flowers. So, we'll get all these chopped up and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to make the mac sauce now. People make this different. Um, some people just go to Walmart and buy the special sauce that they have. Um, but I'm gonna make mine. So I'm gonna use Thousand, Thousand Island dressing. Now some people just use this plain. And you just squirt it on there. But not me. I'm going to squirt about a quarter of a cup into there. And now I have got my sweet relish that I'm going to squirt. Right here. 
have just ground beef. I think I did 80 20. Yeah, 80 20. A little bit of fat in them makes them a little bit better. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I have it on a piece of parchment paper, okay? So now I am going to put another piece of parchment paper over that. way too many documentaries here lately on the possibilities of what's in that food from the originator and it's got me freaked out a little bit um, but I do love the taste of them I ain't gonna lie but I really want to know what's in my food so if I can make it at home <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do so I'm on like a mission to uh, conquer all of my favorite fast foods and just make them from home so I'm going to start these fries, and there's a secret ingredient to the fries, so just bear with me. I've got this at a little different angle now, um, but I've got the meat patties going. I'm excited about this, y'all. I'm seriously straight up excited about this. I cannot wait. Alright, so my patties are finished, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off of the griddle. So now I have my buns on the griddle, and for each Big Mac is two bottoms and one top. So I've got enough for three right here. My son will not eat a Big Mac. <laughs> so he's, I made him just a couple of single patties just for him to have a cheeseburger. But this is the grid. I've got my fries going. I did not realize that these fries have the skin on them, so they're not going to be exactly like McDonald's fries, but I'm telling y'all the little pack that I was made to wear of. They're going to taste like them. So just let these fry right on up. Now, the secret to deep frying. I learned this a long time ago working at June's in Holdenville, Oklahoma, and Adair's. The secret to frying is when it floats, it's done. If it ain't floating, they ain't done. So let me show y'all the secret to McDonald's fries. They add a little bit of sugar in with their salt before they season their fries. Who knew that? That's the secret. Alright, so I've got my fries here. They're all crispy. Now I'm going to put this salt in the sugar mixture.
daughter's right behind me, but she won't get in the video. I'm sure she put these together and can tell me the exact way to do it. There's my little onions. y'all the big macs were <laughs> amazing they were i think they're the best thing i've ever made um just out here checking on my little garden everything's going looking pretty good those blooms right there are getting bigger i don't know what happened to this bloom it looked like he broke off you might look at my taters y'all beast right there. I still don't know what's going on with the ones that I had under in here. I'll leave it be, but it's got me perplexed. Anyway, y'all, I'm not going to water these today because it looks like it, it might rain. It's supposed to, it's supposed to rain. It's been off and on pretty, pretty cloudy. Um, so, just kind of kind of gonna wait it out and see I don't want to overwater them um, y'all let's go in the front and look at Lazarus right, let's look at my blueberries they look like they're doing good the thing I have to watch for like if I don't get them like as soon as they're ready the birds will eat them all but then I feel bad because I kind of want to be able to feed the birds so I'm thinking about putting like one of those plastic snakes out here and then doing a bird feeder. That way we both win. They get fed and I get to keep my blueberries. All right, Lazarus is still kicking. It looks like he's about to start a whole bunch more blooms right there. Those will be opening up soon. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place. Well, Lazarus. Getting a lot more greenage on this side too. You're doing good, buddy. You are doing good. Look at you. Yes. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to uh, clean the kitchen up now. I've literally been in the kitchen all day canning and getting stuff ready. Um, I'm gonna have to get up early and cook lunch before church and just put it in crock pots to warm it because we are doing a baptismal tomorrow after church um, praise God praise God um, so I'm gonna get all that ready in the morning so I've just been spring cleaning today you're gonna have to overlook the way I look well you had to do that all week anyway but that's all right <laughs> anyway uh, I'm going to uh, get in there and get that kitchen cleaned up get ready for church I love y'all you guys will see this video tomorrow and then you'll see I'm gonna try and get um, snap thoughts of the um, of the um, baptismal because we're gonna go down to, to the to the lake and do that because um, we don't have a baptistry in our church um, God provided us 
with a beautiful lake that we can we can utilize so i love y'all be blessed and i will see you tomorrow